Hello and thank you very much for joining us. I'm Daryl Franklin. Lauren is on assignment. She'll join us tonight at 10. Governor Greg Abbott has issued an executive order prohibiting counties, cities, school districts, public health authorities, and government officials from requiring masks. PJ Green spoke with the Wichita Falls mayor today. So PJ, was the mayor thinking of such an order? He actually wasn't, Daryl. Mayor Steven Santiana says the city is in a good place regarding COVID, but with a recent increase in COVID cases, health officials are reminding people to stay vigilant against the virus. Masks haven't been required in the state of Texas since March. With Governor Abbott's newest executive order, cities and counties no longer hand down mask mandates. Wichita Falls Mayor Steven Santiana says changing mask orders weren't even on his horizon. Uh, it's just too tough to tell citizens, put a mask on, don't put a mask on, uh, you know, it's, it's really tough, so we follow governor's orders, and of course here at City of Wichita Falls, we kind of, you know, have a, a courtesy factor if you want to wear a mask or not, but I think that's working best for the city. On May 16th, the state of Texas hit multiple milestones by seeing the lowest statewide number of new cases since last March, the lowest number of hospitalizations since June 2020, and the first day without a COVID-related death since March of 2020. Wichita County hit a milestone two days prior with its first COVID death in more than a month. Texas has been, you know, out in the, the forefront of those states that were among the, the first to lift the mask mandate. I think we just have to be cautious and we have to continue those precautions that we have in place. With the county also seeing the highest positivity rate since January, Kreidler is insisting the public stay vigilant against the virus and mask up even if you aren't vaccinated. It's a difficult situation, a difficult place for people to be, and we really depend on, on people to monitor themselves and to know if they're not vaccinated, the right thing to do is, is to continue to wear a mask. Since Texas dropped its COVID restrictions, cases have not risen dramatically statewide, and health officials push safety parameters to keep it that way. Now we have ways to sign up for a vaccine on our website. All right, PJ, thanks so much. MSU Texas will also no longer require masks, but they encourage people who are not vaccinated to continue to wear a mask and practice social distancing too.